okay now what are the other ways we can save the energy electrical devices must be turned off when not in use yes even uh, for example it is also the waste of the energy if you are not using anything it should be turned off especially the light or air condition if you are not using them you are not in the room so you should switch off everything or you are going outside your house for shopping or for anything so make sure that all the lights and the acs are turned off except your the refrigerator and other things after that devices can be left in standby mode and can be assessed properly you know that sometime uh, you are not using your so you are not switching off your laptop man because you will not go to this here and you will find that this is the option turn off instead of that one you just put on the sleep mode or you will put it on the standby mean you will just close it without shutting it down and after some time when you want to use it again again you will use it so that's known as standby mode so you should use that one instead of leaving the laptop on you can close it and after that you can again open it and it will automatically on after that more energy efficient devices must be bought for example as i told you before before they are using bulbs after that they are using tube lights and now they are using led so led why they are using led because it is more efficient it will not waste your energy energy will not be wasted by led if it's wasted very less amount okay as compared to bulb and light so you should use for example now you have old tvs you have old com computers they are 10 years old they are take consuming lot of electricity but if you see the new ones so they are consuming less electricity so they are saying that you should buy more efficient devices as the passage of time after that developing alternative fuels for vehicles and further development in engine technology you that is you can see before they are using petrol only in the cars then they start using ethanol then they start using gases and now they are transferring on solar and also they are using the electric cars so with the passage of time the scientists and the companies they are developing the alternative fuels because before we have only fossil fuels in the fossil fuels as you know that you have coal you have oil and you have gas now they are producing ethanol they are producing solar they are producing wind as we discussed in the last lesson so they are all alternative fuels after that they are saying you have to and uh, you can say put uh, scrap scrap pay scheme remove in for example sometime maybe you saw in some places they will say bring your old air condition and take a new one and you have to pay some money and you take these type of schemes are given by the government why because old acs they are taking too much electricity now the split units like this they are taking less and sometime the government gives some you can say the compensation to the companies who can replace them so like this the people have uh, this kind of uh, you can say motivation said that by giving the old one they have to pay less money to take the new one so this kind of the you can say initiative should be run by the government till here any problem no okay mashallah came khalafulla okay energy from waste there is another method which can you can say increase the amount of energy available that is energy from the waste and how we can do that one you have an aerobic digestion as a 
biology student, I think you know the difference between aerobic and anaerobic. So here, what is aerobic digestion? It means it is a break, breaking down of organic matter. Means organic matter means waste food and vegetation means some kind of plants by using a bacteria. So that bacteria will break them down. But if you see anaerobic means this process will take out in a sealed container without oxygen, without the supply of oxygen. So they will do, how they will do it, we will see in that with the help of diagram. So first of all, if any uh, question comes like an aerobic digestion, so you can say that it is a breaking down of organic matter and you can, uh, instead of organic matter, you can say waste food or vegetation by using bacteria. And how this process is carried out, it is carried out in a sealed container. Understand? And uh, in absence of oxygen. So when you will do in the sealed container, what you will get? You will get methane. Methane is what? A gas. In chemistry, when you study the organic chemistry, you will find methane. What is methane? Okay. So it is a flammable gas. It means it catches fire very quickly. So this gas can be used for a lot of purposes. To, for cooking, you can use it. You can use it for heating. And sometimes it can be used to run generators to produce electricity. Sometimes it is used in vehicles. Okay, so a lot of use is there. After that, the even the waste, composite waste, even the waste which comes after you get the gas, and still there is a waste behind that can be used to improve the soil structure as a fertilizer. So this, by this purpose, you can use the rubbish from homes. You can take the rubbish from the vegetation, means the dead plants and all these things. And you can also take the waste from animals for this one. And now we'll see in detail how it is carried out. Okay, see this one, now here, this is, they are taking manure means the dairy, the swine, beef, poultry, or their waste they are taking, okay? And they are taking the waste which you throw in, out of your house. They are also taking the waste, uh, vegetables and the fruits and other things like oil, fruits, residue, anything. So they, all of them, they are putting in a sealed container here. In this sealed container, the anaerobic digestion happens. And from that, two things comes. One is the gas and other is the waste. And this waste and gas, how it is used, we can see it now. Till here, any issue, my dear, anyone? First of all, they are taking waste from the animals. This is waste you're throwing out of your house. This is vegetable and the fruit waste. And this is other energy like crops or any like oil, anything come out. Do you have any issue regarding this? Please, can you confirm? No. Okay. No. Thank you. After that, as I told you, you're getting two things. The biogas, this gas is known as biogas. So sometime in the exam question come define the biogas. So you can say the gas which is produced by the waste of animals, plants with the help of an aerobic digestion that's known as biogas. And you can give the example, what is that methane? After that, it is used for electricity because if you use this gas, if you remember, we studied about the power stations. If you will use this gas to heat water, and water will become into steam and steam will go to turbine and turbine will fit it with the generator. So like this electricity is produced. 